Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics video on number classification. This video is, uh, is housed in our algebra playlist, but it's going to be incredibly useful for anyone who needs a refresher. Um, so what I have behind me is a number line, and we're going to start looking at numbers one and above. So let's picture that we are looking through forests. We can find a forest with eight trees, we could find a forest with 14 trees, and we could find a forest with 3,962 trees or something. So these numbers that can be found out in nature, the countable numbers, are from one to infinity. Now these numbers, natural numbers, these natural numbers are, uh, they are full steps between each other. So there are no decimals and no fractions when we are looking at natural numbers. Now, the, uh, the symbol that we'll use to represent natural numbers is an N with a cross through it. And these numbers are from one to a countable infinity. Next, we're going to look at including zero in our list of numbers. So we've got now, 0 plus 1, 2, 3, all the way to infinity. And these numbers are called whole numbers. Because each is a whole step on the positive side of the number line, including 0. And the symbol we used to represent those is W. And they are from 0 to infinity. These actually should be mm -hmm. brackets because the number that they start with is included. So, excuse me on that. All right, now the next numbers we're going to be looking at are including our negative numbers on the number line. So, what do we call negative four? It is a whole step down from negative three and it is a mirror of our natural numbers on the number line. So these numbers are called integers. So any whole number including the negatives are integers. And we'll represent those with a z. And they include every number from negative infinity to positive infinity that doesn't have a decimal or a fraction used to express it. Now, what if we do use a fraction to express our number? For example, let's look at the number 3 fifths. We'll put it right there. So we're looking at 3 fifths. So this number, it's represented with an integer over an integer. Uh, and it can also be expressed as a decimal, in this case, 0.6, which doesn't repeat. It, it terminates right after the 6. So numbers such as these are referred to as uh, rational numbers. And these can be represented with a Q. And these include all of our numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity that can be written as an integer over another integer. And just as a side note here, we've got our a over b. The b can be an integer such as positive 1. And so that means that every integer on our number line is also a rational number. And so if we have rational numbers, that implies that there is a way for uh, a number to exist that is irrational. And that's true. So that would be a number such as pi. So just off the top of my head, we've got 3.1415. But these decimals go on and on to infinity. There are an infinite number of decimals to calculate in pi. And pi is special along with all of the other irrational numbers because it cannot be expressed as an integer over another integer. So we call these we call the group of numbers that includes irrational numbers as well as all of our other numbers, we call those real numbers. 
And so real numbers can be expressed or can be symbolized with an R with a double bar on the side here. And so real numbers are any number that have a place on the real number line from a negative infinity to positive infinity. And those, that's the last kind of number that we're going to be discussing today. But um, imaginary numbers and complex numbers do also exist. But we are going to be leaving them out of our discussion of algebra for now. Thank you for watching this worldwide Center of Mathematics short on algebra. So be sure to click this button to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any new math videos. Click here to visit the playlist for the video that you just watched. And click on this button to visit centerofmath.org for even more math resources.